everybody, I know I haven't uploaded in No, I'm not me look on the wrong. Oh, the front camera better. Hey everybody, hello. I know I haven't uploaded in two weeks. That's because I've been at my grandma's house and no, I couldn't take Zena with me because she doesn't like cats. She hates cats. She don't like them at all. But, 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 you won't believe what I found lurking in her backyard. So, stay tuned. There has been this little stray cat lurking around in my grandma's backyard, hiding underneath the bushes and stuff. And I've been trying to tame him for about two weeks. And I finally got him to come around. And I thought, hey, I should have I should have been videoing this. I was like, why not do a little mini documentary? Oh on how I was able to gain this cat's trust because I know a lot of people especially um, the crazy cat ladies all the crazy cat folks you've probably seen a stray cat around and I don't know maybe you wanted to pick them up and just take them home and make them your furry friend for life but as we know cats can be a bit standoffish and they are fully aware of the potential threat that strangers may pose also you know cats are very territorial and bringing home a new cat means you have brought him into unfamiliar territory that will take some time to get used to so you know it's kind of up to us to help break the cat out of its shell let me first just establish that there is a difference between a feral cat and a stray cat now feral cats have never interacted with humans before they've had little or no human interaction at all and are typically born in the wild or outdoors now a stray cat is familiar with human interaction because most likely it was once a pet and maybe he ran away or unfortunately was neglected by his owner so based on what i just said you'd probably figure out by now that the strays trust is easier and quicker to gain than the ferals i'm guessing that this little sweetheart is a stray based on how quickly i was able to tame him at first he was really afraid of me but after two weeks he managed to come around so what I did was the number one rule. I know we hear it time and time and time again, but I'ma say it again. Give them time. Respecting a cat's boundaries will make it respect you. So I exercised complete patience and I didn't overstep my boundaries. I just gave this little cat some time to get used to me. So We've all heard the same before that food is a way to a man's heart. Well, it's no different with cats. Offer them some food, preferably wet cat food. I rarely use a trap. That's the last option for me. And I'll only use it if it's an emergency, like if the cat seems really sick and is in desperate need of help. Other than that, I'll do the old fashioned kitty way and offer food and water daily. Also, you should always make sure the cat knows the face of the nice human who keeps bringing him food. In other words, let him see when you're putting the food into his plate. So what I'm doing right here is just pouring the water in front of him. If you remembered in some of our previous videos, we had said that cats prefer running water as they see it safer than still water. So instead of presenting a bowl of still water in front of him, I poured the water 
for him instead just to help build up that trust as simple as it may seem. Anyway, let me tell y'all a little about Toby's progress. So after I was able to gain his trust, I realized that he is really friendly. Can you believe he actually allowed me to rub his tummy? He actually allowed me to rub his tummy. And a lot of us know that most cats do not like that. Now, I'm no expert, but I can tell that Toby is a fairly young cat based on the fact that his testicles have become have gradually become more prominent during the couple weeks. Toby and I are now best friends and he follows me everywhere. He always comes over in the early mornings and late evenings to eat, play and receive his petting. I'm planning on taking Toby to the vet with Zena and I next month so he can get a regular checkup and get fixed. But so far he seems very happy and healthy. Ha <laughs> ha 